While we've all been patiently waiting for Crystal Dynamics to give us more information about the new Tomb Raider game that's being built using Unreal Engine 5, they have decided to put out Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remasters, and a lot of people were initially very excited for these, and while they are being very positively received, at the beginning of the games, they have decided to put a trigger warning condemning offensive depictions of people and cultures in these titles. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this Bounding Into Comics article. It says, in a move that while an admitted step in the right direction, still signals that the Western video game industry is still much too focused on performative activism than it should be, Crystal Dynamics has announced that through their upcoming remasters of the first three Tomb Raider games, uh, and they will release completely uncensored, they will also feature a disclaimer decrying the harmful impact the series had supposed supposedly had on players. Now, yes, right off the bat, I think it is extremely important to point out that these remasters are in no way, shape, or form censored, which is so amazing to see, because this was one of our big worries, of course, a lot of games that end up being remasters or, of course, remade, end up having a lot of content cut from them because, of course, modern audiences might be offended by it, even though the concept of modern audiences that these companies push don't actually exist. Um, it is great to see that this content is not censored, but, of course, they are now acting, Crystal Dynamics and Embracer are acting like the politically correct police again, because as discovered by a Tomb Raider news outlet a day ahead of the trilogy's collection release today when the video is going up, upon booting up the game, players are presented with a one-time disclaimer informing them that the games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes types are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. Now, in my time on this earth, I have never heard anybody say that Tomb Raider is a series filled with offensive, uh, you know, pieces of content. The attacks that I often see on Tomb Raider are the, as they claim, over-sexualization of Lara Croft, even though I personally do not see that in these games at all whatsoever. But of course, I've never seen, you know, so many people demand that Tomb Raider uh, remakes or remasters right the wrongs uh, that the series has previously gone through and the content that has already existed, which is why this comes across as being so utterly ridiculous to so many people. Of course, Crystal Dynamics is a company that wants to be seen as heroes, right? They want to be seen as the activists that they truly are, um, and they do not want to be aligned with this content that they're calling deeply harmful and inexcusable, yet of course they're not afraid to make money off of it at all whatsoever. And while Crystal Dynamics is not the one who made these remasters, Aspire Media is the one who made the remasters. Um, they're still coming out and making this statement because, of course, Embracer owns Crystal Dynamics. Crystal Dynamics is Tomb Raider. Um, and, of course, Crystal Dynamics is the company who, of course, has announced a new Tomb Raider game. Um, and they are the ones who are handling the franchise, of course. So they are going to come out and make these statements to try to, what, bend the knee and please some individuals. And while this, you know, trigger warning does not ruin these remasters in any way, at least for a lot of people, um, it is just still disappointing that they came out and condemned this content that you know, millions of people have loved over, you know, 
the course of this franchise existing. I just recently actually had to talk about legendary actors like Ralph Fiennes and Ian McKellen fighting back against trigger and content warnings and things like film and theater because they do ruin art, they destroy suspense, and they damage storytelling, and I completely agree uh, with that with that take, of course, and I do think that this trigger warning is absolutely ridiculous because audiences 20 years ago and audiences today want the same content. Nobody was offended about it then. Nobody's really offended about it now except for the sensitive snowflakes on social media. The only group of people that do care are the sensitive snowflakes who can't fathom the idea that someone would dare create content that isn't completely sanitized and politically correct and so crystal dynamics felt that they had to come out and they had to make this, you know, very bland statement that of course is getting absolutely destroyed by players condemning stereotypes in classic Tomb Raider, of course. And if you don't know what they're talking about, uh, even though they did not provide specifics as to which cultural depictions they felt warranted such a warning, an educated guess suggests that it uh, was made in reference to various local enemies encountered by Lara throughout her first three adventures, and more specifically the Polynesian tribesmen enemies depicted in Tomb Raider 3 Adventures of Lara Croft. And as noted, uh, there is no doubt that this is an absolutely embarrassing moment of political virtue signaling from Crystal Dynamics. Yes, that is all that the that this boils down to be. I mean, there are so many companies now that virtue signal and this, you know, this company, Crystal Dynamics, is definitely no different. And of course, a lot of people are pretty disappointed over this. I did make a tweet and I wanted to read just a couple of responses. People are saying things like, I'm triggered by this trigger warning. Crystal Dynamics are now a completely woke and shaming a different culture of people of a different race. And that's wrong in every sense of the word. I'll stay with the early late 2010 Tomb Raider titles. There's nothing more entertaining about remasters than current day devs publicly recoiling in fear and popping a zero before you're allowed to touch one of the games. At least her model wasn't changed, and I completely agree. I'm glad that there is no content that was actually censored within these remasters, but the fact that they're ashamed of this content and they felt the need to put these trigger warnings in the first place is absolutely pathetic. It will be interesting to see if these games end up selling well. I think that they will because, again, no altered content. A lot of people were extremely excited for them. I am personally looking forward to them as as well, but it's just very disappointing to see, you know, these uh, companies acting like the politically correct police again. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but we'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.